guys, welcome to my channel. As you can see, I am in my crowd. So it's another sit down video. Um, this video it's a little, a little touchy and a little flary and a little I just mean, right? I said to myself about two days ago, I think I should make this video as a sort of appreciation as well as highlighting um, a specific person who I believe is a blessing to Jamaica and to many persons without even knowing, right? But before I go into this video, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so all right so guys please subscribe please subscribe to my channel and share my video with a friend anyhow my video is really about donna and donna go right and i i sat and i said i would make a video about auntie donna but I was waiting on the right time. And I think the right time is today. Why? Because I was scrolling on IG and I just saw something saying that Auntie Donna went to Mandigo to NCU and she donated 900,700 to a university student. I was appalled. The things Auntie Donna are doing are so amazing. Auntie Donna has blessed people in so many ways that she does not even know. The way she is blessed, she's blessing people without even knowing. If you had watched my previous video I did around last week, I was sharing with you guys that one of the reasons why I became monetized was through sharing content about Auntie Donna. So I did reaction videos about her, you know, and those really gave me my watch always. So for me, I just believe that Auntie Donna is so blessed that she's blessing people and she doesn't know because I consider her a blessing in my life. I am monetized today and Auntie Donna contributed a lot to that monetization. I did one reaction video about Auntie Donna and I got 2,000 watch hours. So I just believe that Auntie Donna is a, is a great woman and no matter what people have to say about her, she's a blessed woman and once you're blessed, you bless others without even knowing. The things Auntie Donna has done for many persons are beyond what government bodies have done for persons in Jamaica. When I saw the sum of money she contributed to that nursing student at NCU, I said, wow, people back Auntie Donna to say she is not everything she does, she posts it on social media. But because of how Jamaicans are, I have to say Auntie Donna continue posting because people will call it thieves and they'll call it all sorts of names. So she's ensuring that she cover her tracks because you can never please people in life, right? And I mean, you know what I like about her? She will speak her mind. So if somebody is down on her or somebody's bashing her, she's gonna respond. People say it's a weak person don't to respond. But sometimes you have to stand up for yourself and get people off your back. Especially Jamaica. If you don't put people in their place, please you, they will not stop what they're doing. Right? So I like that about her, even though a lot of people don't like it, so she answer everybody. But people forget to answer because if you leave people alone, they will stick fire back like duck with them not leave, especially Jamaicans. Because as Jamaicans, we don't fight against too much and we don't like to see when people are better than us. And we don't like to see when people are blessed. Right? So that's really what I think um, about Auntie Donna, the work she has been doing. I don't see anybody in Jamaica that has been doing the work that Auntie Donna has done. She has built homes, she has sent back people to school, she has 
donated to persons starting businesses. She has donated to children. You know, it's amazing to see the things that she has done. And it's sad to see what people have to say and how persons are fighting her. I myself want to become a philanthropist when the day comes because I think doing philanthropical work it is waiting on the right time and it's waiting on God's calling right and thus I also see Auntie Donna as a motivator so I'll always be on her channel I'll always be watching what she's doing you know because it just warms my heart at the work she does how she takes the work serious and how she just developed as a brand, you know, she's a brand ambassador, she signed with Ramesh Entertainment. I mean, the great things are happening for her and I am truly, truly happy um, for the accomplishments that she has achieved. And if you realize she, she's just launching a new brand for herself and selling online merch, which I know will be will do extremely well based on how she is and how blessed she is. And I'm sure that I'm not the only person that Angelana has blessed unintentionally. I'm sure that there are many other persons because again, it, it comes with blessings. Once you're blessed, you just bless people abundantly and you don't know that because it's just being blessed. Your cup is overflowing and others are reaping what is what has been overflowed and is running out of your sauce. Alright guys, so that is what I had to say. I wanted to do this appreciation video because I always say to me I'm very appreciative. I'm always, you know, saying thanks. I'm always saying things I like. I mean that's how I was raised. My mother always say don't don't kick ass or something like that. You have to show appreciation. The least you can do is to say thank you and let people know you appreciate that they've done something good for you or whether they complimented you or you know any kind act you show some sort of appreciation and that's really how i am all right so guys i'm going to ask you to go ahead like my video share it with a friend and i wouldn't mind if auntie dana see this video to be honest um because i consider her like a great person a role model and um, I just wish her the very best. So thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Do have a great rest of the week, guys. And be blessed. I always end my video by saying peace out.